What's up, guys? It's another Music Gear Monday. I'm Carl Carell, and today we're going to hop into it very quickly. Denon Prime Update 2.0. If you're using any of the Denon DJ hardware, including any of the SC series CDJs or any of the Prime players, I just want to show you some of the basics of what this update has done. It's really, really cool. Let's get into it today on Music Gear Monday. So with the Denon 2.0 update, I currently have the SC5000 CDJs. I've got to say, I've been loving these CDJs. Really coming in handy, came in handy this summer. It was a really, really hot summer. So playing a lot of outdoor gigs uh, in the sun, laptops weren't having it. CDJs were kind of um, the savior when it comes to playing in these hot, dusty environments. But the two biggest things that I'm seeing in this update are DMX control as as well as control for your Q lighting systems. So you are able to wirelessly connect to DMX controllers via your Denon hardware, and I believe the rest of the Prime hardware that has Wi-Fi enable into it. You're able to connect to DMX lights and Hue lighting systems. There is a clever little interface built into your, your hardware now that gives you different settings that you can actually tap on. There's a lot of preset stuff. I haven't got a chance to fully play with the settings and uh, hopefully I'll get to do that this next week. But this is kind of what it looks like. Some of your different grid settings, some of your different color presets, uh, as well as some of your different controls for some of the movers and different moving head lighting units. You also have Ableton Link built into your CDJs now. So for a lot of people that are using CDJs and want to use your Ableton sessions along with the CDJs, say you want to sync some different instruments, you want to sync your sessions to be able to play live instruments, especially playing with someone like a drummer and wanting to be able to send them a click track in their headphones. This could be a key for you. I'm going to be trying to test out some of this stuff in the next week or so. So hopefully posting some more videos, updating on this coming up. Those were the two major updates that I think are going to affect me. Uh, there is a lot of other little things that they did update here and there. Like I said, the UI looks a little bit different. Some of the formatting in searching and some of your sorting looks a little bit different. You still have your stream services, things like BeatSource, SoundCloud, Dropbox, Tidal. I believe there's a few more on there now that they updated and I'm sure there will be more as we go into the future. But a great update, I gotta say, that they rolled out here. I'm looking forward to testing out some of these features even more and seeing what else they, they come out with. What do you think of these Denon updates? Are you a fan? Are you looking at these Denons as a potential piece of hardware? Or is it something that you see is a little bit too much? Put that in the comments below. Let me know. That's gonna be it for today. This is a quick one, short and sweet. Hopefully everybody Everybody's having a good week so far. I know it's Monday, but we're out here. So we'll catch you guys here next week. I'm Carl Carell. Peace.